your fans know the movie The Smashing Machine. People that haven't seen it now have an idea what it is. So you're now in this theater. You haven't seen any of the movie. You've been on top of the world. Now you've got your demons. What what, what the hell is your reaction seeing this unfold before your eyes the very first time? Oh, my God, Rick. It, it, and still to this day, I can, you know, if I close my eyes and I think of that moment, you know, I get emotional. I, I genuinely get emotional. Um, you know, it's like one of those moments in my life where I, I looked at it and, and the filmmakers weren't even watching the movie. They were watching me for my reaction to the different parts in the movie. And um, I was kind of cognizant of, of that going on around me and I'm watching the movie. And as it runs and gets over, the lights come on in the movie theater and I literally just stand. I remember I just popped up out of my seat and, you know, they're all asking me, what'd you think? What'd you think? What'd you think? What'd you think? And I couldn't even come up with a response. The only thing that I said to them is literally, I remember looking at John Greenhouse because he, he's the guy that I was closest to of that group. And I remember looking at John going, I'm going to have to get back with you. And I just walked out and they were freaked out absolutely they were more, they, yeah go ahead i'm sorry go on they were more freaked out than i was rick because 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 my reaction was just so like oh my god dudes like hang on a minute you know like time out i i need like a, a genuine like time out man i was so overwhelmed with what they had captured on the film and how they put it together and the story that it told. Um, it was, it was, it was hardcore. So, uh, so apart from the craftsmanship of the movie and, and by the way, everybody, it's an amazing movie and Mark, we can still watch it streaming. Is that right? Even today? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You can still watch it. And I, I think next year, next year they're going to repackage it and reintroduce it to the next batch of people that really had and had the opportunity to see it. Okay. Okay. So this is the Smashing Machine. It's an exceptionally well-made movie, but you know, again, the craftsmanship aside, let let's get to the story. Do you remember when you stood up in that theater? What what were you feeling? Were you proud that you got it out? Were you embarrassed and ashamed? Was it somewhere in the middle? What 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 were your it, feelings? It was it, it was shame. It was like I looked at it and I just I I, I was like I like a I can't believe I let them have that much access to my life. You know, B I can't believe I'm I'm like watching myself do what I was doing on film and and just like. You know, like, wow, I, you know, and, and again, it goes back to this stupid analogy that I keep saying. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like getting up in front of a crowd of people and talking about how you, you know, rub your dick. You know, it's like I jerk it a little to the left and a little to the right. And then I like this and I use this lube and, you know, it's that personal of, of, of a story. And, and, and it literally, Rick, I, I you know, I, here's, here's how they calm me down prior to me seeing it they said hey mark we want your input if there's something in there that's so objectable we'll give you the ability to say no you need to take that out or you need to take that out and so they gave me that kind of feeling of like i had some kind of objectivity to it where i can you know have some kind of input to the creative process that it wasn't just going to be me and me on an island by myself that I can go, no, 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 guys, you need to figure out how to rework this part of the story. I don't want that out. So um, I literally got in my car, and you remember the, the, the car phones that you used to have, like, uh, like built into your car? Yeah, connected to the big uh, rubbery cord. Yeah, mm -hmm, cord. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I had a car phone. I had a car phone. And uh, John Greenhouse had my number, and I remember leaving the parking garage and starting to drive, and my car phone rings. And it's it's um, hang on, let let me dump this here. <clears throat> Sorry, Rich. No problem. And so um, I had uh, he calls me and he goes, "Are you okay?" And I and I literally said, "Hey, I I I don't know." I said, "I don't know." I said, "I I honestly don't know." 
And uh, I remember at the time I was, you know, working somewhat of a good program. And, you know, I called my sponsor and I talked to him afterward. And, you know, I just tried to work my way through it. And, um, you know, the, re- you know the, the short part of the story is in the rest is history. Because, you know, I called them back a couple, it took me a couple days to process it. And I, and I remember calling them back and I said, okay. And they're like, okay, okay, what? And I said, okay, it's, go ahead. You know, you okay, guys, so I try. What was your motivation for saying, okay, go with, okay, so you you watched the movie, your, your dominant emotion was shame. Yet two days later, you're saying, okay, go, go ahead with it. What, what was your rationale for, for saying that if you felt about it the way you felt about it? The, you, you the, gonna learn from the, it? The, you gonna learn from it? Well, the, the space that I eventually landed in, Rick, was it was to the point where, you know, talking to people in recovery and all of that, their, their, their whole point was, Mark, if your movie, if somebody watching that and they could see it and see the struggles you went through and see that you made it out through the other side of it and you're okay and life is good, then that's what you need to do. You need to, you need to create a space where somebody who is, you know, this dude that works at a power plant that, you know, he got, he got in an accident and now he's taking Viking in every day and, and he can't figure out how to get out of the situation he's in. He's pops open and watches your movie one night and he sees the baddest dude on the planet is dealing with addiction. What do you think that's going to do for him? So that, res- that resonated with you. Yeah. Way, way, yeah. Way, way back then.